one of the things that I will constantly talk about is my legacy for my daughter. She's 17 now. Well, she knows of my military legacy, things that I've done a fraction. She knows a fraction of what I've done. But now she gets to see my legacy of caring for our planet. It's an expression from the military that nobody's coming to get us, right? Nobody's coming to save us. We have to figure it out. And I, and I fervently believe that about a lot of the problems that are confronting our, our environment. We are faced with the coral declines that are now getting close to the, uh, to the breaking point. We have an ecological scale impact on the recovery of coral reefs. We needed to recruit people from all walks of life. A scientist can say, hey, do this, do this, do this to care for our oceans. And let's be realistic, that most of the people will blow them off because unfortunately they're scientists, ah, those geeks, what do they know? The same message comes out of a special operator and oh, I've got to listen to that. We, we always sort of knew that in knowing, getting to know our Force Blue veterans, that they would respond because it's who they are. You know, you give them a mission, you give them the expertise to like complete that mission and they're gonna just overperform, right? That's who they are. But what we were less certain about was how would the marine scientific community react to, you know, a bunch of uh, really hard charging combat veterans. You, you are a little intimidated because I know my business. I was, you know, once again, I was a SEAL, I was a sniper, so I knew my business. But here I was stepping into somebody else's world. So the first day you're like, all right, what's this going to be like? You see them applying the skills that, that they learn for, for some other very different uh, reason or mission. And, you know, you have them, uh, you know, holding our corals back and forth. And, you know, and, you know, they never get tired. They never get cold. They're always smiling. They're always fun. So it's, it's been awesome for us. Day one, it's sort of that weird, everybody's kind of figuring each other out, right? By day two, you know, our scientists are like, hey, do you have an extra force blue hat? Hey, you know, do I, can I get one of those t-shirts? And then by day three, they're up at eight in the morning doing PT with our guys. Our veterans are helping other human beings. It's not just about helping our veterans transition. It's about finding some commonality and some, some connection points in a world that is very disconnected right now. And that's what I think 100 Yards of Hope really reflects. Yes, we restored 100 yards of coral and that's a big deal. But what's most important is that we've set a template for cooperation 